Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're almost done with the game, I think. And that's the exact reason why I think it's high time we uh, well, upgrade our gear a bit. So now that we have all the power cells, of course we're gonna head back into the bunker uh, where we found that fancy armor in the first place. So let's go and get ourselves some, uh, some shield weaver armor. I think we'll have to solve one more puzzle. Look, there it is. There it is. We found this in one of the, the first episodes we uh, we did. But right now, we're going to be able to finish this. I think it's about 30 episodes later, but... Um, okay. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. I know, Eloy. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. So let's repair this one. One. Only two more. Two. Just one more. And three. That is a lovely sound. There we go. The last one. And then We're that seems up. pretty now simple. Get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. So 90 degrees. 270 degrees. Then we have 360, which is the normal position. Then 450, which is just the same as 90. So there we go. And then we have 630, which is 180 further. So let's just turn it counterclockwise. Did it. Look at that armor inside. I want this armor. Oh, All right. this is gonna look awesome. Now let's see what we can do with this material. So yeah, because this is a not what she usually has as armor. So I'm wondering what she's gonna do with it. Pick up the shield weaver. Okay. Obtained one shield weaver outfit box. Well, let's check that out. So let's go into inventory and then treasure boxes. That's even a common box. The shield weaver outfit box. Shield weaver outfit. There we go. Take all. And then let's go. Ooh, trophy. Got the shield weaver outfit. And then let's... Oh, you can't upgrade that. But how does this look? Okay. That is awesome. And what the hell happened to my health bar? It's blue. So does that mean I can actually take a few hits without actually losing health? That is pretty cool. I'm actually wondering if this actually... Does this refill or did I just not take everything? Uh, apparently I did not take any everything. So thank you for the health potions. And well, that's a cool start to the episode. Look at that. I'm gonna really be able to use that, especially when we go through the the next mission. Because the next mission, I'm not gonna just finish the main quest just yet. Uh, since we killed a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird, I got all the trophies I need to continue on with the hunting grounds, the the Hunter uh, Lodge quest. So I'm gonna do that in a second. I hope I'm hoping I can do that because, of course, the Hunter's Lodge is located in Meridian and uh, Meridian is exactly the place we need to go to uh, continue the main quest. I'm not gonna say finish just yet although I think it's gonna be the final stretch of the game but we're uh, definitely equipped for the tasks right now. So see you guys in Meridian at the Hunter's Lodge. I am gonna stop with this merchant here for a second as well. He is marked as a specialty merchant. He's kind of in the middle of Meridian. Uh, I might actually show you the map for that. So he's right over there in Meridian. And he's the one that gives you a mysterious box in, uh, well, in return for those stranded items. So if you go down, there's a mysterious box where you need the stranded figure, shackles and necklace for. And I'm actually gonna buy this. I don't know what's going to be inside of that, because that actually, it's very hard to find all those three items, I think. Because they're all in the vault, state, same as the power cells, and we got this freaking thing from the power cells. So let's check out how disappointed I will be if I open this mysterious box. We got a special modification box, 
uh, modification box, short gamblers box, and warm socks. Warm socks. The fuck? I'm just gonna open everything here. Just open, take all. 58% handling and 40% shock coil. That's pretty good. But. So yeah, if you're wondering uh, how I can fast travel infinitely, there, most merchants sell this item for, I think it's a fire bellow back heart. It's the golden fast travel pack, which is really handy because you get unlimited uh, fast travels that way. But what is with the warm socks? This rare item of the ancients offers good value when sold to merchants. I'm gonna keep my socks. I like my socks. Nobody's gonna take away my socks. So let's go to the, the Hunter's Lodge right over here and give those two trophies we uh, collected. Well, we killed a lot more than that, but let's give those two trophies to uh, Assis. He's gonna be mad at me again, probably, because he's always mad. Oh. No Assis either. Maybe Ligon knows where they are. Well, he was talking about going after a Red Maw, so maybe he did. Let's go back to the door and talk to Legan, because he usually knows where everybody is. Legan. Yeah, he's Legan, right? Yeah. Hello. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. That's good. Where but where is he? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. No. Oh. I saw some outlanders follow after. Oh no. I wouldn't put it past a cease to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. Okay, we're gonna tumble into Red Maw immediately. So complete the deadliest game, which got me 6,000 XP and an extraordinary reward box. And then we got a new quest, Red Maw. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, yeah, level 19. I kind of doubt that that's going to be level 19 to defeat the strongest Thunderjaw of them all. So find Talana. I'm just going to check out the box and then we're going to head there. Okay, see you guys at uh, hopefully Talana's place. I see people over there, although I'm not certain. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Outlander Bow Warrior. Jesus Christ, there's a, there's a lot of them. How much did a cease pay you? That sounds like her. Oh, I'm gonna have to meddle with this. These guys are pretty tough. Keep up the pressure. There we go. Is that a cease himself or just Damn. There we go. Wow. And that shield weaver armor is awesome. Oh. Ah, I'm firing normal arrows. That's the problem. Why am I firing normal arrows? There we go. Where's the Lana? Hello, Talana. Glad I saved your ass. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry. I wouldn't hurry. He's not going to be able to kill that thing. She's not answering. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his thrush. My sponsor did the same. 
Went after Redmaw alone out of pride. Even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. So there's a, a tall neck pretty close. Yeah, you can actually see him over there. The tall neck's head. There we go. There's the tall neck. Uh, but I'm not going to do that at this time. Because, well, we're kind of pretty close to uh, this quest, of course. So I would have kind of activated the Outlanders anyway. Okay, Talana. Talana. I'm not sure where Assis and Redmaw went from here. I can follow their tracks. There we go. There's a big piece of debris around this here. Way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. Oh god. Tarkus, I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. And with my father, I didn't even get that. Where was the sea swimmer? There he is. Redmaw. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. He has a lot of uh, spears inside of him. And not anymore. Ow. I don't think was, he's holding his own. Was holding his own. <laughs> well, we have our work cut out for us. But I'm invincible. You know what? I'm gonna start with this. Let's make this quick. So we only had one. Yeah, bye. I'm gonna go for the disc launch immediately. Boom, baby! There goes another gun. Come on. There you go. The shield weaver arm is doing its job. Charging. Come on, give me it. Give me it. Oh, I didn't expect that one, but didn't take a single oh, bit of damage. There we go. No, you shall not. And down that goes. We've taken the wind out of him. He's half done. Yeah, he is half done. Oh, I need to get a few arrows in his heart. Oh, wait, this side is still closed. There we go. Come on, open up the flank. It's that one. Jesus, the plants are in the way. Now fire arrows. There we go, straight in the heart. Okay, my 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 bar is a bit confused, I think. He's still burning, so that actually works. Nope. 
Nope. We're doing it! He's nearly down! Where are you going? Oh, I stopped him in his tracks. There we go. Boom! Just a little bit more! How the hell did he hit me there? Boom, bitch! Boom! Damn it! In the heart! Goodbye, Red Maw. Alright, that was done. awesome. We did it. Yeah, we did. I'm gonna, just gonna take everything there is to find. Is there anything special in there? Nice coils. So let's take all. And that is it. These will keep. The fearsome Thunderjaw defeated. Oh, they're beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Okay. Wait, what? About what? Ah, yeah, of course, because he's been jammed in the wall. And I forgot about him. Don't really care about him either. <laughs> is he, uh, is he dead? He should- Oh, for Christ's sake, I just defeated a thunder job with jumping up a latch. That's a bit, bit of a problem. And are you dead? Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Oh, fuck you, You're dude. Done. The lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive in dark times. No, you buried it along with my father's memory. I should have. I should have. You should have what? I should have let you fight Redmore first to soften him up. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that was that was pretty anticlimactic. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're going to weep for him. Oh no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <laughs> okay then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Ooh, yes. Well then, I think we still have a little bit of time left to do that. Look at this armor. I mean, it's so awesome. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back at the Hunter's Lodge in a second. Hawk Bradavin Khan Hello, there we are. Brother. And Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish. Beloved father, let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Okay, that was a nice speech. Talana, Talana, don't run away. Don't run away, I want to talk to you. Do we need to talk out here? Uh oh, she just snapped to that position. Look, a memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the sun ring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. Yeah, you're definitely welcome, because that was a pretty cool side quest. So how does it feel to be the Sunhawk? So There we go, like trophy! It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here. If you want it. Of course we want it. So uh, what will happen to the lodge? What happens now, in the lodge? A Sunhawk. I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. Great. 
And what was that prayer what was about? That prayer you were saying when I first came in. I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Karn Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow. That was beautiful. Thank you, Talana. And goodbye. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. <laughs> May you always take your prey. Yeah, that was really, really amazing. That was a really cool side quest. Well, string of side quests. We got another extraordinary reward box. I'm assuming there's nothing really in there. So I'm not gonna bother. I think we leveled up as well. But I don't think... Oh, we do have three skill points. So let's go with... I think I'm just gonna go for Call Mount. Because that's really interesting. Calls a new overridden mount if no mount is available. Um, Or Dodge Prowess. I'm just gonna go for the mount. I mean... Learn the skill. Thank you very much. There we go. And with that done, I'm gonna take a little break. When we get back, we're not gonna do the main quest just yet. Because there's another string of side quests I want to finish as well. And uh, it features one of, uh, I think, the most popular side quest characters in the game. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.